This is where 18-year-old Katerina Tyshenko lives. It's a temporary housing container, right next to the ruins of her fiancé's home, destroyed by a Russian artillery shell during Russia's abortive assault on Kiev in March. Their home is just a few miles north of the capital, and Katerina lives here with her fiancé, his family, and their cats. I like it more here than staying at friends. My soul belongs here, it's my yard, and living here means I can work in my garden and yard. But when you stay at your friends, you can't work in the yard because it's not yours. The war is now in its ninth month, and temperatures are soon set to fall below freezing. But because of strikes on the country's infrastructure, the family live mostly without power or heat, like millions of others around the country. Although they don't own a wood-burning heater, Katerina is adamant that she won't leave her home or village. Even if we won't have power for good, we'll endure it and survive. We just don't want to be shelled. Everything else we can endure, the most important is that the Russians won't return. Apart from that, everything is fine. The authorities say 40% of Ukraine's energy infrastructure has been seriously damaged, forcing them to introduce rolling blackouts. At such times, Katerina and her family cannot use their sole electric heater and their mobile phone signals cut out. Despite a tough winter looming, Katerina is defiant. And, like many other Ukrainians, her morale is unbroken. A study from the Kyiv International Institute of Sociology said polling data showed that 86% of Ukrainians supported the idea of continued resistance against Russia. The poll was conducted almost two weeks after Russia began its targeted infrastructure attacks in October.